Hey guys, um, this is tutorial number four in the series of uh, modeling the LF1. Uh, so we're going to keep on going where we left off in the past tutorial. And we can see that we just finished the stair and we were working on the ramp here. And everything seems to be fine till this point. Um, let's go ahead and just bring back our some of our images. All right. So we can see. Um, one thing that I noticed is that it, we developed this curve here from this volume from the outside um, line of the drawing. I will, so basically, we should have done the inner one. I'm going to just offset this line and repeat the operation. Let's put the curve. So I'm going to give it 10 meters up. And we're going to just make this surface change layer uh, into our surface layer. And what we need here is just to pick these two lines on this surface. And if you remember our shortcut I enter, H enter, that is for isolating our element, we can go ahead and just go into the front view and quickly trim this again. Right. I'm going to pick both as cutting objects, right click. Uh, I'm going to start moving faster on the on some of the elements and the concepts that we've seen already. So I'm not going to be repeating everything over and over again. So we can see now that we have that thickness. And that's, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and just loft some of these elements. And we could just switch layers to just make our surfaces in the right layer, right? So let's go here, uh, and we can do left. Seems pretty good. So it doesn't really matter right now that we had this kind of exterior. Uh, we know that our stairs is actually reaching the second surface, but that's fine. Uh, um, so okay, and the same happens with this kind of ramp surface. But this is pretty much okay. Um, what we need to do now is let's do the next volume. That is this one. But we need to be aware that this floor is actually uh, at a minus level, right? It's it's deeper than the natural ground. So we need to just do that volume slightly uh, lower as well. Um, so we don't run into problems later that we have to extend such volume or, or add patches to that. So, and the other thing is that that volume uses the same outline than this other volume. So it uses basically this curve here. No, that's not it. So this one. Right? That's the outline. But it has it, it stops before and it starts after as well. Right? So we need to figure out how to do that. And um, what we're gonna do is just basically we're gonna build a new layer called building lines uh, L2. Let's go ahead and pick a brownish color. And so knowing that this is the curve, I'm gonna just duplicate that curve by saying control C, control V, so I have a copy of it, and right click, change object layer. So now if I remove this layer of the line, I know that I have another layer that is the duplicate. So I'm not going to touch the original, I want to create a new one. We want to use the same one because I'm going to trim it to the to the size of this new volume because um, because it needs to be exactly the same outline that we draw before, right? So it doesn't really matter that the first outline wasn't precise in terms of the 
uh, the image that we have, we have as a reference, but it's very important that we use the same curve that we drew as the second curve. Okay? So let's bring back again the uh, image here. Yeah? And we'll see that in this case, this is the volume that we're drawing. It's also in this elevation or section right okay? here. So let's go ahead and draw some of these lines in this layer, the brown. So we're going to do something like there. We can move it. That's not what we wanted. If move to that's actually there. I'm going to make a copy of that. Somewhere here, right? So these are the two lines. I'm going to move them up. And I'm going to trim this section with these lines, right? So that's pretty straightforward. What we need to do as well here is go ahead and just draw the line, the official line for our volume. Uh, and that we can do, we've been doing it in this green layer, and I'm going to stick to that. Uh, so I'm going to just draw the, uh, the outline of the volume. In this case, I'm working with the outside curve. So at this stage, we're just repeating some of the techniques that we've seen already, right? And we could see here, we might just move it to, to a point here, and then slightly longer, just to trim it later, right? So we have this line. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude this line. But notice that I would just say both sides yes. Why? Because I need to be producing a little bit of extra geometry to go down uh, in order to uh, deal with uh, the, the ground uh, problem, right? uh, and, and not lack uh, surface here. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just look at the trimming operation. We're going to go back to our building lines tool. And let's see. Okay, so now this curve is not going to cut, so we need to just extend these lines. This one and this one. We're going to turn on control points and move those control points down slightly. Yeah? Let's trim these curves if you don't want to see the surface anymore. Uh, maybe we just turn all that off for now. And trim this too. Okay. So we can join these curves. We have this. We can pick our surface and our line and isolate them by inverting height and trimming, as we have mentioned. Select cutting optic, enter, and then trimming the surface. Yes. And we can turn on everything now, show the geometry, and we see that we have created a volume that it has the outline. The perfect outline that we needed, right? The problem now is that this surface here, right? This surface here, it's a continuous surface from this point till the end. And basically, what I want to do is just be able to loft these two surfaces together, right? Um, one way of doing it, and I think it's usually good when you're gonna do an operation like this to um, to make a duplicate, to just save this surface because it's very difficult from trimming or splitting what we're gonna do now, uh, go back to the surface. So if you think that's quite a relevant piece of geometry, just save it somehow. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this file that I haven't. Uh, so I'm gonna save it as number four. Um, so 
the first thing I'm going to do is just invert this two. There's this surface and the same outline of the volume that we had before, and split this guy. Okay? So I'm going to say split, select object to split this guy, cutting object this one, and we successfully split it our geometry. Right? Now that we have it split, and we show everything else, we can see that this surface and this surface can perfectly loft each other to generate see that's fine right so I'm gonna just bring this back to the surface level and this is looking pretty good right uh, the only thing that we need to do is what we've done already in our first main volume is just to offset some of these lines and start building some of that detail. So, just repeating again the operations. I'm going to draw this line. Uh, I'm going to move it vertical down to this point and offset. Yeah, that's fine. At this point, we can just hide the surface, right? So, offset. Same idea here. Let's go again and split these two. Join these two together. Uh, do we need to do it at the end? Probably yes. So we're gonna do that piece of geometry. Offset. Right. Trim this one, this one, enter, enter, right click, and join. Right. So we have split. We've done all the boundary again. I'm gonna pick these two. Isolate. So you, you, you can start seeing how the workflow goes. It's like when we isolate, it's pretty simple and clean the way in which we can do the splitting operation. In this case, we're going to select the object, right click, the cutting object, and we end up with both surfaces. Going to show. So we have this element, and we're going to move it down vertically. Minus 0 0.3, as we've done with everything else, right? And left again. Changing the layer. I'm hoping that at this point you already are familiar with some of the operations that I'm doing, and this is not too fast, uh, and you can follow the logics that we're kind of repeating over and over again. Uh, soon, uh, I'm trying to zoom here into some of these lines to get closer. And I can go to surface, loft. I call loft sometimes. Uh, I should have just moved into the surface layer, but for now it's fine. So we can see that this looks pretty much like the model of the building, right? And we're going to leave this extra surface for now, and we're not going to deal with this edge here yet, because we're going to come in and just start modeling this detail, and we're going to bring the images to start kind of detailing all the geometry of this facade here. Um, so that would be in the next tutorial. Um, for now, I think we are kind of doing good progress with this project. That's it.